afternoon and welcome to another episode of The Developer Show. This is a program where we showcase up and coming developments, talk investments and show you how you can find yourself living in the heart of Sandton. Behind me you see Wedgwood which is Baldwin's latest offering into the market. So follow me while we go inside and show you how you can find yourself living in this absolutely exclusive property. We're going to speak to the guys, we're going to get you some real solid advice and I think you're going to find this whole episode very exciting. Let's go. Good afternoon and welcome to the latest episode of The Developer Show. Today we are sitting in Sanson and we have got a very, very special guest who is Stefan Boerta, who is the director of Rainmaker Marketing. My name is Chad and I'll be your host. And Stefan, thank you so much for taking some time out on this uh, very busy day, it looks like, judging by the cars in the parking lot. Yeah, you have this interview with me? No, thanks, Chad. Thanks for being here. I mean, it's a hell of an exciting day for us. We're saying it's probably the most anticipated residential launch the country scene. And today, the guys have queued through the night for the release of Wedge with Sanson, which is happening today at 8 o'clock. So I think we've got 45 minutes to go and, and yeah, I'm really pumped that you guys are here. And we are starting. So like you'd mentioned, Wedgwood Sanson, that's the, uh, that's the, 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 the um, development of the hour. But yeah. what I'd like to start off with is a question I tend to ask all of the guys on the show. And that is, can you introduce us to yourself, introduce us to your team, and also what a client can expect if they decide to go down this journey with Rain, uh, Rainmaker Media? Yeah, sure. So I think... Um, a, a bit of context, so I mean behind you, which you'll probably see during the course of there's a, there's a, fu a fully integrated team here, which is people have arrived um, for the day. The, 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 big, the big demand has been in terms of price points, so there's price points that have never been seen in Stanton before. And I think the whole process here is the fact that guys have had the ability to pre um, qualify themselves their bond. We've had over 450 people who've actually been pre-qualified through Mortgage Market who are the mortgage origination partners. I think you're going to chat to Tim at some stage. And then the whole idea is to get people here on a first-come, first-served basis and get them through. Um, we've got a whole interactive um, element, and people have the ability to, uh, to purchase online. So I think we'll see a hybrid between people purchasing online and virtually, and a huge influx of people who expect here today. And then done, done pretty smoothly in terms of from that, in terms of your mortgage application, your 10,000 rand deposit, which is quite unique to Baldwin in terms of the special in a product in Sanson, and then how all the, the, the transfer costs, et cetera, are included into your purchase price. So There's a whole integrated system which is uh, something that, that Baldwin have rolled out really successfully. I mean, what you guys have done here today is absolutely incredible. But let's talk about Wedgwood Santon. I yeah. mean, when I say Santon, I'm not talking about four-way Santon or we are close to Santon. We are literally standing in Santon. There's a beautiful view of uh, the Leonardo from the site, and Santon City is just around the corner from us, within easy walking distance, strolling distance. You could probably have this conversation on the way no, there. No, no, no. So tell me a bit about Wedgwood and what a client can expect if they decide to purchase within Wedgwood. Okay, so I think the biggest thing, we as marketers, we always use the term Santon very loosely. Santon can, can be 20 k's on either side, and this, it, it's really unique. I know when Steve Brooks came to us from Baldwin and said, listen, we, we, we sort of say, it's like, can, can it really be that you can be within... 200 meters of, of, of the heart chain and literally right next to, I mean, as you guys know, the Radis in the corner, Old Mutual across the road. So um, it's, it, I think it, Baldwin's got a very unique element in terms of they have the ability to bring in price points that no one else can bring in. I think it's got a lot to do with scale. It's a huge development. It's probably the biggest sexual type development that's been launched in the country's history, 1,348 apartments. And we're light architects who are um, internationally award-winning architects. We've done a lot of stuff with Baldwin before. They've been genius in terms of how they've, how they've created a product where They've created small living spaces, which are um, economically done and to try and get into the right price point. I think we started 27,000 rand a square, where I think most developers in Santa are starting at 45 to 50,000 rand a square. And it's done because of that and then supersizing with facilities, starting with um, your motherland coffee in terms of how their, their structure is going to work, all the way through to your co-working spaces, through your restaurants, through your um, recreational pool areas. And then they've stepped up all the recreational areas step by step. So they've got the outdoor cinema, they've got their... Um, Six aside soccer pitches, they've got their, it, it's just, it's, 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 it's a whole new live, way of living. And to bring that into Santa, I think the whole passion behind this product has been how do you allow more people from, from outside areas to have the ability to own within Santa. And I think that's where there's such a big thing today. There's the first unit, the 38th unit from 799, are only reserved for people who are going to be living here permanently that ha haven't been opened up to investors. And the whole big, massive thing, I know, I know Euphonic, for example, who many of you will know, he's a, a brand ambassador board, and his whole thing the whole time is how do you allow more people to own property, understand the property purchasing process is why we try to integrate everything, um, and to get them into prime locations, and this is, it's not more prime than this. Absolutely. So it, and, and, and we've had 
three, well, we've got almost 4,000 inquiries to date. Uh, it's been going ballistic, and um, we really are expecting to break a record today, which is, is very exciting for the property market as a whole, especially considering that uh, there's so much other, other factors around the economy and all the rest. So it's really exciting for, for the market Absolutely. as a whole. You know, it's something we speak about often on the developer show is how do you know the development you're purchasing into? Because you're making such a big purchase, and you know, this is going to be next 20 years for you. It's a massive relationship. How do you know you're purchasing quality? And with Baldwin, they've got a history of providing quality development. And with this development specifically, how have you managed to, to get that price point that you're offering it for? So let's, let's, let's say, let me actually phrase it like this. What unit types have you got available and what are the price points they're going for? Yeah, so there's a combination. So, what, what, so what's quite interesting is that 80, I think it's 70% of the units within the entire development are under 1.2 million. 40% are under 1 million. And um, that in itself is, is, is pretty unique. So there's a huge combination of these units are studios. There are a couple of different combinations of studios. And yes, those are small complex spaces, but Lars have done a really good job in terms of how they've created those spaces and privacy. Each one's got balconies, which is really important. And then it goes up 19 stories in the building. So people have got the ability to either face north, east, south, and west. So those studios start from 799,000 Rand. And I think with interest rates being as low as they are currently, those bond repayments start at about 6,100, I think, 20. So our whole marketing is how do you own Samsung from 6120. And then there are one beds that start from triple nine, and then the two beds uh, go up from about 1.5 upwards, um, and obviously the higher, the higher you go in the building. And it's quite unique. I mean, from, from, from the eighth floor up, you're going to have uninterrupted views over Samson, which will never change base. So that's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. I think that's all done based on scale, and I think the big thing is um, what's included. So uh, what's quite unique is all your smeg appliances are included, down to your microwave and all the rest, which at this price point is, is unheard of. And then the biggest thing from an investment perspective, I always say is look at certain things. Who's the developer? What are your barriers to entry in terms of what's your deposit amount? And for us, that 10,000 Rand deposit is a huge thing. You're not paying a 10% deposit, which is often, often the case. And then looking at your, your cost prior to purchase. So the big thing here is that if you go through um, mortgage market, you get all your transfer and bond registration costs included, which is a huge thing. That probably saves you about another 25,000 Rand. Um, and then because you're buying off plan, there's no transfer duty. So there are a lot of those that are added on, on in elements. I mean, Baldwin have got a, a, a green bond um, a structure where you get between 0.25 and 0.5% of your bond. So when you stack all of those things together, it's, I mean, I know, I know a lot of guys are talking about a unicorn product, but it is, it is very unique. And I think that's why the demand has been, has been off the charts, just because I think people understand this kind of thing won't come around again. No, I absolutely agree with you and you saying it's unique because like you've mentioned, the pricing is so good and you're here in Sanson and tying that in with where the interest rate is, yeah. there's absolutely no way first-time home buyers and, and the people you've marketed this product to aren't going to make a brilliant investment through the course of this. Tell me, what else, what other amenities, we've got Wedgwood right there in the back, it looks beautiful. What other amenities can people expect if they decide to purchase in Wedgwood? Within the building itself? Yeah. Yeah, so I think, so they, obviously they've, they, they've done a big thing in terms of, um, I don't know if you know the, the brand Training Science, but Training Science is, we're not calling it a gym because it's almost like a new age way of, of things. So it's everything there from your high performance, performance stuff, your normal gym, your personal training, your ice baths, all that kind of stuff. That's a huge component of the, of, of the space. So that's on the ground floor with the pool and the recreational areas. Lots of uh, a bike access routes, et cetera, et cetera. We've, um, we've done a partnership with a guy called Park Up. And Park Up are next level in terms of how they've created a, a flexible parking solution app where um, you have the ability to be able to utilize parking within the building, but also in surrounding areas and for visitors and all that stuff, which is really quite unique in itself. And then as you go up in terms of flexible uh, workspaces, it's a huge work, um, con a sort of central work area with, with workspaces and conferencing rooms and all the rest. And then you've got your, um, your, your pool, your soccer, your outdoor cinema, your um, recreational areas. Um, there's, I mean, it looks there's, like there's a, there's a soccer pitch right on the roof there. Actually. There's a soccer pitch right on, the, right on the roof. So a soccer pitch and then, and then the, the outdoor cinema above that. There's, a, there's a, a massive outdoor chest area and then the steps up into different chill row zones and relaxation zones. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the architects... <laughs> can never give them too much credit because they always enjoy, they always enjoy their, their, their work so much, but they've got done an incredible job in terms of how they structured it. I think if you're living in a house with a soccer pitch on the roof, you are living in, a, in, in an apartment with that the epitome of cool. No, absolutely. And I think where, where the big thing is here is you're going to have your, your first-time buyers or your guys who just want to live in Sandton. There's a huge opportunity there. And then naturally, you're going to see the investor market. There's going to be a huge thing. And then there's going to be a... A very, the huge component of a, of a building of the site is the, the rental management solution, making sure that, that is all controlled, whether it be short term or long term. And the rental yields is a, is a huge thing from an investor perspective. So we are, 
projecting that pretty much all the unit types should be cash flow positive from year one based on the fact that if you take into account what your bond repayments are versus what the rental income that our research team have projected versus the very low levies, which is also a huge component. So levies are 16 rand a square meter, where probably anywhere in Alston Sands, you're probably looking for about 30 rand a square meter. So on a studio, you're paying about 450 rand a month in levies. So um, yeah, so, that, so and I think that's a huge component. So those, those, those facilities are so core cool to making sure that whether it's a short-term or long-term lease, or whether it's a permanent residence, that it's all catered for. Um, down to all the bike stations, the motorbike stations, there's a whole host of different things that if come into If you move it. into Wedgwood, it seems like you'll never need to leave, I'd say about a couple of hundred meters around the apartment. I, th I think, I think that, that, was the, that was the vision. And, and I think there's, there's, a, there's obviously, I think it, this is, it, it is revolutionary in its, in its time in terms of you need a developer who's bold enough to be able to put something like this together. And where we see a huge amount of this is if you look at a huge component of the target market, which is coming from outlying areas, we did a, a huge um, sort of market research survey beforehand in terms of where a lot of those guys who want to live here currently live and where they work. And a huge amount of the people are living outside of Santa, but 35% of them are working inside Santa. And if you start taking the, the, the ability to be able to save on things like travel, um, even when it comes to, in, in future, I believe guys will Uber and, and do various different things, it will, it, will, it will save costs. And when you start doing that and understanding what, what this can offer to just to the property market as a whole and to people who want to get into the market, it, it, it's massive. And I think there's a far greater impact to, the, 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 to, to this country as a whole when guys are having the, 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 sort of the, the vision and the gut to pull something like this off. Um, I, think, I think this is the only development that brings real New York living um, to Kharteng, where you don't need a car because you could possibly work just up the road. I mean, your shopping centers are right here. You've got your gym in the house. You've got your workspace in the house. Yeah. You've got your uh, activities in the house, a movie center in the house. I mean, you can have date nights on the roof. I know. So there's no yeah. real reason to leave. And I think that brings that real beauty and the romance of living in New York right here in Kharteng. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, just the design itself. I mean, uh, we're obviously standing next, next to the model. I mean, we've got car chain right here and we've got our mutual cross road. But the, the, just the down to vertical, vertical landscaping, it's a green building, so it's edge certified, which is why you actually get um, a, a saving on your bond. And that's also like how do you bring down your carbon footprint? How do you, it's it just, it, it is a, the, this, con this concept was inspired um, and credit to Steve Brooks and credit to the architects in terms of stuff that's happening in New York, um, London, the leading destinations of the world where this whole micro living, I wouldn't call it micro living, but this whole lifestyle, apartment style uh, has really, really sort of taken off. Regards to just super size facilities in the building, which you can do through scale and you can do it through um, creating build buildings of, of pretty much big magnitude. So you guys are breaking ground here. You, we've just arrived on the site. I can see the car park is filling up. Yeah, it is actually filling. I'm just actually looking over your shoulder. There's a car streaming at the moment, which is great. So tell me, when somebody arrives here to come speak to you guys, I believe your sales offices are going to be here after this. What do they need to keep in mind when viewing this area? And also, what type of, or just let our, let our viewers know, when is this going to be uh, completed? When can they expect to move in if they decide to come here and say to you, uh, Stefan, I love this, yeah. I want to purchase, when can they expect to move in? So, and I, and I think that's a big thing. So, it, it's the, where, where it is unique is that we do expect to, to break sales, sales records today in terms of the, the, the level of interest and so forth, which means that Bourne are going to be in position to break ground in March which is pretty unheard of for a development of this scale. And then they've got a 24-month completion, which is also pretty <laughs> unheard of. They've got ability to get things done pretty quickly. So the, the first guys will be in here 28th of Feb 2023, which is two and a half years from, just under two and a half years from where we are now. The benefit to that is the off-plan capital appreciation. Guys are, are, are paying 10,000 10, rand now. No cost between now and then. They just need to get their, um, their bond in place through mortgage market or provide a cash guarantee. And then they're going to see the capital appreciation. I think we all know that that capital appreciation at this price is you, I mean, you, it's, it's hard. You never want to predict too much, but I think that's where the guys are going to see a huge opportunity. And that's always the benefit of buying off plan. Um, so this sales office is going to be here until pretty much we break ground, which is the next um, three or four months. So we obviously encourage guys to come in here. The uh, address, you, you can't miss it. You literally walk down Ravonia Road and there's... Uh, 100 meters of hoarding that, that, that takes you in here. And this setup we've created here is going to be where the, the home of Wedge is going to be until, until the first fade goes into the ground. So it's exciting. Yeah, it's, 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 it's exciting. And yeah, it's, it's exciting times. Well, Stefan Berta, thank you very thanks, much. Thanks very much. So, yeah, I really, really appreciate you guys appreciate um, making the time to be here. And we look forward to keeping you guys updated. It's, uh, it's exciting journey ahead. Looking forward to it as well. Thank you very much. Cool. Finally, Ballin Properties welcomes you to the heart of Santa. 
bring you our first high-rise apartment development, Wedgwood. Reimagine cosmopolitan living in Africa's richest square mile. Reinvent your lifestyle from only 799,000 rand. Go to wedgwoodsanton.co.za. Welcome back to The Developer Show. My name is Chad and I'll be your host. And today we are joined by Tim Akinnessy, who is the CEO of Mortgage Markets. Tim, thank you so much for taking some time out to join us. Yeah, good to be with you, Chad. I had a very, very interesting with Stefan and I thought we'd, know we'd now sit down with you. Awesome. So could you tell our viewers what Mortgage Market is and what kind of role it plays in the development of Wedgwood and in the sales of Wedgwood as well? Sure. So quite simply, Mortgage Market is a platform that allows customers to go directly to all of the banks in the country to get a home loan. They'll be able to compare home loans um, literally from the comfort of wherever they are with the greatest of transparency. They'll get all the choice. We will guide them through the whole process and negotiate the best deal for them. And that's what the platform is. It's uh, a new technology. It's never been done in South Africa, um, but we're pretty much a marketplace that's independent where you can get all your home loans in a matter of 20 minutes, yeah. We also have a really great tool, that's our pre-approval tool, which allows you to get a, uh, a pre-approval within two minutes to understand exactly what the banks are likely to give you that allows you to then go out and shop with confidence. And in the case of Wedgwood, we uh, expect people to do a pre-approval fairly quickly to then understand exactly what property, at what price range that they can buy in this development, yeah. Work, working within the industry for such a long time, I'm sure you've seen customers come in and say, look, I've spoken to my bank, and this is what they've offered me. Why is it so important to apply to all the banks and not just one and run through a mortgage originator like yourselves? Yeah, so I think the first thing to say is that you can never really say you've gotten the best deal when you only have one bank, right? You need to be able to compare apples to apples. That's when you know you're getting the best deal. So what we do is that we actually go to the same banks, right? Um, and that then allows you to be able to make sure that you're getting the best deal. You will know for sure because you're seeing the entire um, suite of all the banks. So with our platform, uh, we already work with all the banks, so we will go to the banks on your behalf, and you just need to sit back, make a choice, knowing that uh, there's the greatest of transparency and that you're empowered to know that you're getting the best deal for the entire journey. And for customers interested in purchasing, purchasing within Wedgwood, mm -hmm. if they decide to arrive here or if they can do it over the phone, how do they get in touch with your services? So uh, we have um, QR codes on our, on our platform. They can go onto RidgewoodSanton.coza. Um, and of course, come out here, because here is where you actually get the full experience of what Redwood is about. You will get to choose all the units. You will get to be spoken to um, what to expect in the next uh, two years until the development actually comes on stream. And um, you can reach us on our website, mortgagemarket.co.za, and we'll be able to share with you any information you have about the entire buying journey and most importantly, why this development and not anywhere else. Yeah. So me and Stefan spoke at, uh, I'd say at length, about yeah. why Wedgwood is such a good investment opportunity. Could you go from the financial perspective and expand on why it is a good in uh, investment opportunity and just touch on not only the capital gains, but on the initial costs that a, a customer has to lay down to start off with? Yeah. So for first-time home buyers, you know, buying in a development is a perfect way to break into the market because all of your costs are included. So uh, using our platform, when we go to the banks, you actually don't pay any transfer duties, you don't pay any registration costs, all of that is handled through us. The most important thing is that when you're buying a development like Ridgewood, you're not just buying in Stanton, which is obviously the richest square mile in Africa, but you're also buying a development that has all of the amenities, right? So you have a soccer pitch on top, you've got a motherland coffee that's coming, you've got a state of the art, uh, gym facility, you've got um, you know co-working spaces, and you're right on the doorstep of all the schools, the major corporates, and um, Santon City. So all of those amenities is what's going to give this property its true intrinsic value. That's what's going to make sure that your investment will continue to grow into the future. Scarcity is the name of the game. A piece of land like this in Santon you will never find. So that literally means at this price point. This is the lowest price point that you will get into the property sector within Santa. And that's what makes this a true unicorn in terms of property investment. Right? I like that term, unicorn. Yeah. So for customers tuning in, what costs do they need to look at if they decide to purchase into Wedgwood? Obviously, there's a price of what unit they choose, but what other costs 
do they need to just budget for? And also, let's talk a bit about transfer duty. I think so many customers like to tune in and they hear developments are great because you don't have to pay that transfer duty. You're saving such a large amount of money yeah. that can potentially go to the bond later on. So what is transfer duty and why don't you have to pay for development? Okay. So in this case, the transfer duty is a tax that the government levies. So basically, you will, for any development, you actually won't pay any transfer duties for a property that's below a million. But you will be paying transfer costs and the bond registration costs. We absorb that as part of the development team so that you don't have to pay that, right? The other thing is that you will come here, obviously pay 10,000 rand to secure the unit, and what we'll then do is that we will go to the banks on your behalf and get the bond in place. Now, that's critical because your bond will be in place. You don't have to uh, service that facility until the unit is actually built in 2023, and you don't then have to be involved in any other costs except repaying your bond, um, and then, of course, there's the levies. There's the levies, the rates and taxes. Uh, this is probably going to attract a levy cost of about under 500 rand a month, which is the lowest that we've ever seen. Um, I'm sure uh, Stefan spoke to you about the per unit cost. This is about 26,000 per square meter. Majority of other places around the, the same area, within 100 meters, are going for 60 to 80,000 square meter. So value for money wise, this is never going to be repeated anywhere else again. Um, I would say to customers, after they've made their purchase, keep your credit profile clean and save up. Because by the time the unit is actually built, you want to be able to put more money into your bond in, in the form of an access bond facility. And that's a great thing for you when just getting some equity into the bond very early on. That's also something I wanted to talk about in that when, when customers are purchasing, they don't have that transfer duty. But yeah. tell me, what else is a selling point for customers looking to purchase into a development? And specifically this development, if they watch the show and they say, you know, Wedgwood sounds great, they can leverage your services so they don't need to be nervous about possibly finding a bond. But maybe they've also seen that house on private property that they really like. Why go for this development over another house somewhere? So somebody gave me some good advice the other day, and he said it's always best to buy um, the cheapest house in the best area versus buying to buy, going to buy the most expensive house in the worst area. So the trend is your friend over here, because when you're buying in here, you're getting in at a price point that will never be repeated again. So your property can only appreciate in value, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure that by the time Ridgewood is completely built in 2023, the property value would have increased significantly as well. So you already get some capital appreciation, which is a great thing for investors. So uh, first time home buyers as well as investors, this is the investment for 2020 that you want to get into. So if I'm correct in saying this, essentially I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to possibly purchase a home in Wedgwood and all I need to lay down initially is a 10,000 rent deposit. And secure a bond. And secure yeah. a bond. Yeah. And from then, from there, I'm immediately getting the benefit of that capital gain while the, while, while the uh, development is being built. That's it. But I'm also not paying anything on my bond until the development is completed. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a win-win for you. Um, like I said, all you would need to do is obviously be able to afford the bond now and um, start saving. Because by the time you need to be committed to the repayment, you no longer have to worry about... Um, you know, a deposit that you would have already saved up enough money to put into the bond. So um, visit us, come through, uh, you will get to know about the entire journey, what to expect through this whole process, and over the next two years as well. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tim McKinnessy, the CEO of Mortgage Market. Tim, thank you so much for lending us some yeah. of your expertise. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks, Chad. Awesome. Finally, All In Properties welcomes you to the heart of Santa to bring you our first high-rise apartment development, Wedgwood. Reimagine cosmopolitan living in Africa's richest square mile. Reinvent your lifestyle from only 799,000 Rand. Go to wedgwoodsanton.co.za